And then they'll join in and with all this zeal without even examining what the message is. And, 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 and honestly, a lot of that's going on. And you're right. There are people who want anarchy and confusion so that they can continue to do things that they're doing and nobody will ask them any questions. And they want us so at each other's throats. That confusion. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I mean, and, and, and they want us at each other's throats. We know Hillary has yeah. met. Uh, with the folks and try to stir things up. We know George Soros is doing it, and there are some real issues yeah. with the police in areas, but they're really trying to exacerbate it, and I, and I think that's the desperation of the Democratic Party, not that the Republicans are much better, uh, that all they've got now is divide and conquer. I mean, do you agree that that's a sign of desperation, or do you think it's confidence? Well, I talk about frequencies, and so the political frequency is real, and you're there, but it's not so much whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or an Independent. But can, are you a free-thinking person? Can you think? Can you hear? Can you reason? Can you look at issues? And, to, you know, if, if you keep the battle going between the Republicans and the Democrats, uh, that's one level in one place. But what I demand is that everybody, regardless of their political party, do what's right by people. And that's why I wrote to the Congressional Black Caucus, for example, and I said, are you paralyzed? Over in the book of Habakkuk, it says that justice is paralyzed. People are paralyzed, and they can't even do what's right. And justice is perverted. And so uh, what's your problem? Why can't you speak out and say that these things that are happening are wrong? A lot of time, money does it. Like you say, people throw money at it. People who are wealthy enough to want to manipulate the agendas, they put enough money out there that people won't even hear what's right and what's wrong. And uh, have you ever seen those movies or things like that? And Somebody wants to go into a community and the crowd is too thick, so they just take a handful of coins or a handful of dollars and throw them up in the air, and the people disperse, chasing them out. Yes. And then they can go wherever they want to go. Well, then this is exactly this. That's the analogy. That's what's happening. They've got us fighting over crumbs while they social engineer the planet. Uh, how yeah. positive an event, even though it's painful, is it? What do you think of all these abortion videos coming out and the fact that they're selling baby parts, uh, what looks like on the illegal market? Well, I hope your listeners are really listening because it's very painful for me because I, I'm post-abortive. I had abortions. And when I had those abortions, I was one who sat there and was rushed in and had papers shoved into my hands. And as they shoved the papers into my hands, signed this quick, and, and I'm already... Uh, not sure. I'm trying to do it in secret, all of that. And then they said, you've got to sign this, you got to do that. So it is painful, but you know, and, and there's another video out today, I don't know if you see it, it's called Call Him Emmett, E-M-M-E-T-T, -T, talking about Emmett Till, who in the 20th century, an African-American young teen, was killed for supposedly looking at a Caucasian girl. And his mother said, leave the coffin open because I, people need to see what happened to my child. And so Martin Luther King Jr. said, America will not reject racism until America sees racism. Well, Father Frank Pavone, and I'm director of African American uh, uh, Outreach for Priests for Life, where Father Frank is the national director. Father Frank says, America will not reject abortion until America sees abortion. So even though I sit there and I think, oh my God, did I sign that for my own babies? And you, you think about it, but I still say, people need to see it. I need, you know, I'm looking at it. It's hard. Sometimes I have to look away for a second and look back. Uh, David had five smooth stones. This time, the Center for Medical, Medical Progress had five piercing videos. The first five videos ripped the top off of this thing. And from there on, the videos are still coming now. So we do have to see them. They are hard to look at. But if we don't see the truth, our hearts won't be pricked. And so I believe that the videos have to be seen. Dr. Elvita King is our guest, priestforlife.org. The good news is they tried to get the courts to block the release of these videos. That's failed. Uh, we now know even more horrific videos uh, are coming out. And it just shows uh, Planned Parenthood and others are not invincible. I think we're very close to seeing the fall of Hillary, Planned Parenthood, you name it, uh, if we just continue to push. So. I believe so. There's a book, Abolishing Abortion, by Father Frank Pavone. It just dropped yesterday. Uh, he's given a backdrop and 20 points of things that we can all do now that we've seen all this. So, so sometimes if you see something and you feel hopeless, if you don't have anything you can do about it. Ugh. So he's given some how-tos and some lasting things 
that we all can and should do. I've got a book, too, King Rules, R-U-L-E-S, K-I-N-G-R-U-L-E-S. And I talk about my own abortion experience in there. Father Frank uh, did an afterward for me. And so we need to read, study, get involved, participate uh, in the solution. I agree, Don't Dr. King. Mad. Dr. King, we're simulcasting, interrupt, I apologize, video. Okay. Uh, you know, we're part TV, not just radio, and the guys roll footage in the background. Oh. The new video out today is them harvesting the babies, getting their organs, their different parts, and their little wow. eyes and their little bodies. Good God. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I tell you, it's hard to see. It's yeah, hard to see. Yeah, I hadn't seen this new one yet. I knew it was up, and I didn't want to look at it. And their poor little heads and little eyes. I is that the lady who had to go and cut the brain? Yeah, to get the, uh, I mean, put them in the mice. Yeah. The that's, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Uh, I know. It's hard. I'm, I'm sorry. It's hard. Well, no, you were talking about it. I hadn't seen it yet, and then boom, it hit. Mm -hmm. What do you make of these mainly women? Your face. Yeah. What do you make of these weird, yeah. liberal-type, fake women all gulping wine at fine restaurants, bragging about all the body parts? I mean, how sickening is how callous they are? They're desensitized. They, that's why they have to drink the wine, because they're desensitized. And the only way they can go to sleep, probably, is to get a fifth drink. I mean, you, how are you going to keep your heart anesthetized unless you continue to do it? You know, that's really... So I, I feel for them. I, I, I feel pain. I'm sorry. I, I, I pray that they can get to a place where they can live with themselves again. Don't people oh, at a fundamental hard. level get, just to use this term, how bad a luck it is? And I, and I use that term as even if you're not a Christian, you get it. At a fundamental level, yeah. it just feels like bad luck for everybody to be doing this to babies. It just don't people know it's going to come back on us. No, people don't know because I I remember when I was young, I'm a six about a uh, sixty fifth birthday coming up, and I remember my mind was, oh yeah, I, I understand. I hear that happens to people, but it won't happen to me. You know, you can always tell yourself that till it happens, and then you sit there and say, how did this happen? <laughs> Don't you remember? Maybe that didn't happen to you when you were young. Sure, it's like people I know that but smoke happened. cigarettes and then they don't believe they're going to get lung cancer. When they get it, they just can't yeah. believe it. And then how did this happen, you know? And so that is part of the human nature as well, and that's why we have to do a lot of praying. I am a Christian, obviously. But uh, what I say to anybody, whether you're Christian or not a Christian, is there anybody... Well, no, obviously there are people because they're swilling wine and talking about it. I was going to say, is anybody... Is anybody who can't see how bad that is, but obviously there are some who are still in a Absolutely. Place well, the good news is, as you know, the Bible says there's nothing hidden that won't be brought out, even from the deepest depths of the sea. It's coming out. I know you've got a new uh, a song out, too, exposing a lot of this. Priest Pray for Life. Pray for America. Pray for America. That's the song. You can see that at AfricanAmericanOutreach.com. Right at the top, there's a music video. You click on that, and then you can order it online. The whole song, I think. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you'll come back with us and take calls for a longer interview in the future. Priestforlife.org. Keep up the great work, Dr. Elvita C. King. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Bye. Oh, man, that really just freaked me out because I wasn't ready for it. And I'll be honest, I don't watch a lot of the war videos of kids bombed and dead. There was one I saw just the other day by accident in Syria where the roof had fallen in on a father and his daughters in his arms. She looks like she's about six or seven. I got a seven-year-old daughter, and she's crushed. You can see him holding her, and you can tell they died together, suffocating under the rock, and it just gets to me. And I just can't imagine people that don't have that empathy. It's like my nerve endings, what happens to somebody else, it happens to me. And I think about that bowl of little kids, and they're pretty good size. These look like about four or five-month-old babies. And their little heads, their little eyes, their little faces, and they're chopping, they're taking the brains out. And I tell people, 20 years ago, they were putting baby brains in pigs, cows, rats, dogs, you name it. People didn't believe me. Now it's all in the news. It's just so crazy. That's what I mean. And we're... Got Louis Farrakhan running around and David Duke running around all. And yes, whites are racist, some of them, and blacks are racist, and Hispanics are in groups. And the media is hyping it. And so it's real. The real perspective 
of, of Lewis Faircon or David Duke. I mean, I get their perspective from their perspective. But you pull back from it, it's so fantastical what's really going on. The evil transcends what they can even cover. And it's happening to everybody. I think that's the biggest lie is everybody thinks they're getting screwed over or they're screwing somebody over there exempt. You're not exempt. You don't get away with anything you do in this world. And I just don't know how people don't see that or know that. Or why you'd even need to know that metaphysical rule. I'm going to go to your phone calls. I apologize. Kenny and then Brandon and then others. Uh, Kenny, thanks for holding in Florida. Ventura's gone now, but go ahead. Your point. Uh, yeah. Uh, great show today, Alex. And I wanted to plug this ProPure water filtration system if I could. It makes the best sweet tea, and I even make my ice cubes out of it. Well, God bless you. But, thanks uh, for the support. Yeah, man. Uh, I just, according to World Net Daily, since 9 11, 2001, an average of 26 American citizens are killed every day in this country. And if you do the math by illegal aliens, it's a well over 130,000 dead, over a million sexual assaults, mostly against children. And I just wanted to ask him how many is too many. And if he puts illegals before American citizens, I'm done with Jesse Ventura. Well, Ventura's got a real liberal streak in him that he just wants to like everybody. And he gets that the welfare is wrong and it's a draw. But he, I'm trying to get him to, he's moved a little bit. And I think it's... Uh, Next time he's on, I'm going to go over statistics with him, and I'm actually going to go over those numbers with him uh, and just say, look, we're not saying it of the Statue of Liberty. We're not saying we don't like Mexicans. That's not even the biggest group now. Chinese women, Russian women, African women, I don't care, shouldn't be able to come here and get everything free. And by the way, the illegals do work, but a lot of them game the system and get welfare and then work. And Walmart does it. Walmart tells its employees, we pay you enough where you can still get welfare. Go out and get assistance. So we then subsidize Walmart not paying people a living wage. So I hear what you're saying. Uh, and Ventura is wrong on that front, and he's wrong on abortion. Uh, go ahead. Anything else? Uh, that's about it, brother. Keep up the good work. We love you, man. We're praying for you. God bless you. You know, I guarantee you that if I get Ventura and make him look at partial birth abortions, I'll get him to stop his views and everything. I mean, he is a real libertarian. That's really what Ventura is. And he's a good guy. He doesn't like the New World Order. He exposes 9-11. He got kicked off MSNBC and millions of dollars because he wouldn't show up about the war being wrong. I mean, he's good on many areas. He's a moral person from his perspective. We're going to go to break, come back with Brandon, and then uh, Anthony, Tim, Barry, and others. I wish I wouldn't have seen that video, but you know what? Good job, guys, playing it. Because after I saw it, I said, you know what? Roll it again. And go to InfoWars.com, and you look at this video. For yourself. And, you know, if anybody tries to censor it on YouTube, which they've been doing, if dead babies getting harvested is obscene, why is it happening? We're not obscene showing it. You're obscene doing it. And I just repent to God Almighty that I didn't do enough to stop the abortions that I've been involved in. And then my heart and soul just says, that's all right. In the end, you know, you're going to be tested and you're going to pay for what you've done. But hopefully only in this life. I know God's got plans for me. I'll pay. Don't worry. Final segment jamming these calls. You're on. We want everybody to go to InfoWars.com and get the new Jesus. It's not in featured. We'll put it there. Abortion video that's been leaked of the actual harvesting of the babies. Something Planned Parenthood denied. Said wasn't real. I mean, they're a pack of liars. And when we're done exposing what they're doing, see, the more hardcore the globalists get, the more we're going to play hardball. Evil people always make the mistake of thinking good people are weak and are cowards. And the truth is, once good people know that they're cornered, they will tear evil people to pieces. And we're not going to do anything violent to these abortuaries. We're going to expose what you're doing and politically destroy you. And I can feel as the evil intensifies in the world, good is growing stronger as well. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Be part of the solution, folks. We're in an epic time right now. The beginning of something that's just going to get more and more epic. 
it's just so exciting.